we all experience negative thoughts and as a consequence negative feelings so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you uh, a technique called thought diffusion which can be can be is a key recovery skill um, so I'm going to use an example from my own life um, and maybe the, the, you can then find examples from your own life where you fused to thoughts for example um, I was traveling to work one day um, uh, nice and early in the morning at nine o'clock and I was involved in a road rage incident yeah somebody cut me up so this scale shows the emotion that I was feeling at the time and this is the time span as to how long I felt I was fused to the thought for and the consequences and how I was not locked in my fight or flight anxiety state so it's nine o'clock in the morning I'm driving to work I'm involved in a road rage incident which instantly gets me highly aroused. I want to, I want to leap out, I want to fight with this person, or I want to run away, whichever it was. So I'm up here, and number 10 on the scale. It's very little that I can do about that. It's, it's, an, it's an animal instinct, that fight or flight technique. <clears throat> and the incident is over within seconds. So what happens, the driver drives off, and I'm off in a different direction, but I keep the thought in my mind. I'm fusing to it because I'm still pumped up with this adrenaline ready to, to, to fight. So for a few moments, I'll be thinking about that. I'll be reliving it. I'll be replaying the broken record in my mind as to what happened. I could have said this. I should have said that. What if, what if, if only, if only. And I would stay in this angry state for a period of time. Then when I get to work, I have to talk to somebody, let's say. And I'm almost instantly distracted and I'm brought right back down here. And I may be talking to that person for a few moments, then they may go and almost instantly I'll be rethinking about, I'll be thinking about this event again and again. The arousal will be and I'll be reliving it again in my mind. And there will be other distractions throughout the day, but ultimately I will always be drawn back to that event. It'll gradually get less as time goes by, but the more I think about the event, the more I'm reliving it, the more I'm feeling exactly what I fe felt first thing in the morning. This goes on all day long. It may get a bit less, maybe at night time, which is the worst time when the room is dark and quiet, that's when I'll be reliving it again in all its full colour glory. Awful, terrible situation and a way to live. So what can we do about that? What can we do about distracting ourselves from this horrible thought, these thoughts that, that hold us in our, in our addiction? Because we do know the one thing that will knock all this on the head and bring us some level of calm will be our substance, whatever our substance is. So if we find a new way, how can we, how can we help to, to bring this down to a more level, a more calm place? And this is, this is the example that I'll give you. The time and the event is exactly the same. We can't do anything about the road rage incident. It was out of my hands. So this, we can't do anything about it. However, what we do after it, that is our choice. We do have some control over that. For instance, for me, on, on this particular event, I was aware that I was fully ready to fight or fly. And I was also aware that thinking about the event, which was now in the past, wasn't going to do me any good. I'm reliving the event in the past. It's keeping me angry. Um, so what I did is I focused fully on what I had with me in the moment. I was driving, so I was holding on to the steering wheel. I was feeling the wheel in my hands. I was fully aware of the traffic coming towards me, the constant moving picture. I was aware of my feet on the pedals. I'm bringing myself into the moment. And by focusing fully and mindfully on what you have in the moment, it has a tendency to bring you, to bring you down, to bring you a level of calm. Unfortunately, the, the mind, a powerful, powerful tool, will always want to relive this event and will want to bring us back up here. But by relentlessly being aware and noticing, oh no, I'm having this thought again, I'm thinking about the past again, we can rele relentlessly bring ourselves down by living in the moment and finding something to do, whatever it is, whatever we're doing, if we're doing it fully, giving it our full attention, that has the effect 
of bringing a sense of calm. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, our minds will always want to take us back here, but we inevitably can bring ourselves down to this. Okay, when we get home, we might be reliving our story to our friends or our partner, and again, we might be up here again, but again, the skills are all the same. We can mindfully bring ourselves back down. And that could be anything. It could be, it could be what we have in the moment as in driving. It could be a mindful type um, med meditation, if that's the sort of thing you're, you're interested in. But the most important thing is we're, recogni we're recognizing that our minds will want to focus on this, this powerful event. This is the, this is the memory that, that will keep us angry, anxious, um, but we can develop the tools like a well-trodden path. If we keep walking the path of mindfulness, we can develop those skills and ultimately bring ourselves down to a calm state.